Welcome to the Majerus Firefighter Academy. In today's episode, we focus on the inspection and maintenance of turntable ladder ropes. The turntable ladder is the most important rescue device of any fire department. Therefore, regular inspection and maintenance are essential for always being ready for action. At Majerus, our goal is to offer you the best possible support. In addition to our comprehensive manuals, we have dedicated a video that covers the inspection and maintenance of turntable ladder ropes. We'll concisely demonstrate the necessary preparatory steps involved during inspection and maintenance, as well as guiding you on how to thoroughly check the ropes and pulleys, ensuring they are maintained optimally. We'll clarify what actions you should definitely avoid. Additionally, we have some useful tips and tricks designed to best assist you during both inspection and maintenance. My name is Marcus Eero, I am a technical trainer at the Majiris Firefighter Academy, and I will be leading you through this video. So, let's start our journey together. Let's begin with the necessary preparation. Our objective is to have the ladder fully extended and easily accessible at all times. This means that the vehicle must absolutely be fully stabilized. Additionally, the turntable ladder rescue cage has to be removed. It's important that there are at least two of you. The cover of the winch must also be removed. The ladder set needs to be extended to its maximum possible length. It's crucial that the tip of the ladder is then either set down or placed on a stable surface. Let's move on to the inspection of the ropes and pulleys. When you are inspecting the ropes, it's particularly important to thoroughly check them both on the inside and the outside. Here's a useful tip. Use a mirror for this task. Ensure that you thoroughly inspect the ropes for any signs of wear and corrosion. What do you need to watch out for? Are there any signs of wear and tear on the rope? Are there signs of corrosion on the rope? There shouldn't be any signs of rust. Is the rope too dry? This could be an indicator that it's not lubricated enough. The simplest way to test this is by touching the rope with your bare hands. It should feel sticky all the time. It is very important that the ropes are regularly inspected and checked for visible damage after each use of the turntable ladder. Why is this important? With wire ropes, for example, deformations like kinks or crushing can occur. Other indicators include individual wire breaks. These are notably harder to detect. Carefully glide your fingertips over the rope's surface. Ensure you wear a thin work glove to provide additional protection. Should you feel any irregularities on the surface, it could be an indicator and needs to be thoroughly examined. As part of the regular inspection, you should thoroughly check the pulleys as well. What is important during this process? It is essential to meticulously check the pulleys for any signs of wear or groove marks. Run-in marks are not necessarily a problem and do not automatically require a replacement. However, it's crucial that when you replace the ropes, any worn-out pulleys are simultaneously replaced as well to ensure optimal functioning. Corrosion is also a significant factor regarding the pulleys. Rust has no place here. The contact points between the pulleys and the rope must be sufficiently lubricated. Those were the most important points for the inspection. Everything okay? That's fantastic. Have you found any critical points? Then let's take action now. Have you discovered heavily soiled or rusty areas? Make sure to first clean these specific spots. For best outcomes, it's recommended to use a cloth along with cleaning products that are free of solvents. Important, never apply this directly to the rope, always on the cloth. If you've noticed that the ropes seem too dry, you should carefully apply more lubricant. In order to access each relevant spot, you need to extend or retract the ladder set. Additionally, it's important to use only certified lubricants and greases when oiling or lubricating the respective areas. Here's a handy tip. Use a piece of cardboard to effectively shield the other areas of the turntable ladder. Grease and dirt residues can occasionally accumulate on the pulleys. If you find anything like that, they should be removed. The same goes for rusty spots. Make sure to use appropriately certified lubricants and greases in this area as well. It's generally advisable to use a thin liquid spray lubricant for the ropes. Pay attention to the outside temperature. At temperatures below 15 degrees, the lubricant can't be optimally absorbed as effectively as needed. A thicker lubricant, for example, can be applied to the running surfaces between pulleys and ropes using a brush. Remember to lubricate the entire tread of the pulley. For this, the ladder set must be retracted or extended. In our service line, 
you'll find the right products for it, by the way. By ensuring your turntable ladder receives proper maintenance and care, you keep it operational and ready for use over a long period of time. By the way, there are a few things you should definitely not do. Never use a pressure washer or steam cleaner during the process. Avoid using harsh or unsuitable care products at all costs. Also, make sure you never apply cleaning agents directly to the rope itself. You see, there are many things you can do to inspect and maintain your turntable ladder. If you have any questions or are uncertain, feel free to contact our customer service. The fastest way is to just send along some photos of the critical spots. Thank you for allowing me to bring this topic closer to you today. Stay safe and see you soon.